Thank you, Peter. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good evening. The China General Chamber of Commerce is honored to be proud co-host of this evening's event. And I'm pleased to give just a few brief opening remarks. As you all know, China and the US are each other's most important trading partners, as a mutually beneficial economic relationship has become the bedrock of a cooperation between the world's two largest economies. Unfortunately, it appears the recent tariff dispute has barely begun, but already has caused significantly negative impacts across sectors in both countries world markets, and even at the people-to-people -people relationship. Mr. Hank Greenberg, a longtime friend of mine and the people of China. Mr. Meng Dare, the producer of this remarkable documentary, and Mr. Sina, the president of Leaders Magazine, have all dedicated their lives and contributed enormously to the growing exchange of ideas the convening of Chinese culture to the West and the Western culture to the East, and most importantly, the fostering of a strong people-to-people -people relationships. As it was never an easy task, and in today's environment, it's even more critical than ever before. Politics may change from time to time. Markets can be volatile, business will rise, and some may fail. But I can share with you from personal experience that the bonds we build walking, trading, investing, and even dining with one another on the bonds that will last a lifetime. Difference in ideology, culture, and economic growth should not pose a threat to a peaceful and a prosperous relationship. In fact, the opportunities for the US and China, the world's two largest economies, are greater than ever before in history. We should embrace, engage, expand areas of cooperation at every level, creating win-win situations and mutually beneficial opportunities for our people and for future generations. Well, there are challenges to finding a near-term resolution to certain issues. I still believe a compromise can be achieved through dialogue and negotiation. History has taught us there are simply no winners in a trade war. Both nations can innovate and benefit far more through increased trade and cooperation. By exchanging ideas, goods and services in an interdependent world, Founded in 2005, the China General Chamber of Commerce, USA, has been recognized as the largest and most influential non-profit organization. Representing Chinese enterprises in the U.S., its membership consists of 1,500 Chinese and U.S. companies, 54 of which are ranked on the 2018 Fortune Global 500. CGCC's mission is to connect people build trust and expand cooperation between U.S. and the Chinese business communities. As of 2018, CGCC Chinese member companies have accumulatively invested over $120 billion and directly employ more than 200,000 and indirectly employ over 1 million people throughout the United States. CGCC is a nationwide organization and includes CGCC New York, CGCC Chicago, Houston, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and the CGCC Washington, D.C. As chairman of the CGCC and the CEO of Bank of China USA, the message I would like to impart to you this evening is simple. I'm proud to say we seek a sustainable, sustainable and a peaceful economic environment. We recognize trade and economic growth evolves over time. Candidly speaking, there are investment and the trade concerns from the U.S. that China recognizes, and China has worked diligently over the years to address and resolve them as quickly and efficiently as possible. China's market has gradually opened to U.S. products and services in virtually every industry. 
U.S. companies have grown significantly in China, and they continue to benefit from China's growth and the growing middle class and expanding consumer and services markets. I firmly believe we will continue to innovate, build, and create more dialogue to advance compromise among policy makers at every level of government, expand the business cooperation, and create long-lasting bonds between our people and our cultures. I thank you again. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy the show.